The Golden Eagle Festival in the Bayern Algi province is truly an amazing experience. In this video, I will give you a couple of tips and tricks to get the most out of your journey. Managing expectations. Having a good idea of what you're in for before you get there can really help decide if the Golden Eagle Festival is right for you. Despite what our and other photographers' photos look like, the Eagle Festival has definitely become touristy. We try really hard as photographers to eliminate all distractions, especially other travelers in our photos. That being said, it is a great place to practice portrait photography because the eagle hunters are very willing and enjoy having their picture taken. You should of course always be polite and ask first. When we visited in 2016, there were about 800 tourists there during the festival, so by no means are you the only one snapping photos. Since this is truly a photo opportunity not to be missed, it is no surprise that tourists and photographers show up in large numbers. Preparation and transportation. We went as independent travelers, although we did have a great fixer that helped us find airfare to Olgi. Airfare at the time was extremely difficult to purchase outside Mongolia without the help of a local travel agent or fixer. Since there are only a few flights to Olgi, this will be the most crucial part to organize ahead of time. Flights can sell out as much as 9 to 12 months in advance. The only other alternative is a 50 or so hour rough car ride from UB. Places to stay. Many of the hotels and gear camps are booked up well in advance, mostly by large tour groups. Make sure to book a place to stay ahead of time. We did also see a few people camping near the festival, but we were told by a local guide that you may encounter some unwanted attention. Food and dining. There are two popular restaurants in all of Olgi, so it's somewhat slim pickings. Make sure to visit Pamukkale, which has really tasty food for the very traveler. At the festival, there was a small barbecue stand serving mouth-watering grilled lamb, which was absolutely amazing. This was, however, the only real option for a meal at the festival itself. There are a couple of supermarkets in town, and you can easily pack a lunch, which is what we did. Guide or no guide? We chose not to hire a guide during the festival, which I think was totally fine. Of course a guide can explain more about what's going on and how the eagle hunters are being judged. But for the most part, I felt like we were not missing too much. We did however hire a driver for both the festival days, which I would strongly recommend. We wanted to have complete freedom and be able to leave when we wanted, and arrive early to get some intimate shots of the eagle hunters arriving at the festival. At the time, a car with a driver cost around 100 US dollars per day. And if you split this with a few people, it's not that expensive. Weather. Be prepared for anything. The area is infamous for its very strong winds. Bring warm winter clothing. You're doing a lot of sitting around and it will get chilly quick. This time of year, it tends to be pretty cold up north. So gloves and hats are a must. When you're taking photos all day, your hands will get very cold. Photography. There are a few key places that you want to set yourself up for the duration of the festival. Everyone lines up in a horseshoe shape behind a rope, so the best place to stand and take photos is in the middle of the horseshoe, so you don't get any other tourists in your shot. If you want the best spots, you have to get there early though. We got there about an hour early and most of the best spots were already taken. I would highly recommend that you buy a camping chair because it's a long day of standing around if you don't buy a chair. We bought ours in one of the supermarkets in Olgi. Equipment. We shot mostly with a 70-200mm 2.8 and our 85mm 1.8. The long lens is great for taking action and portrait shots. People are very receptive to having their photo taken and it seems that the competitors know what to expect. Many would pose and smile and look like they were having a ton of fun. 
Having said that, we did see a lot of very unethical photographers that would bombard the hunters and not let them go about their day. Especially Aishalpan, the famous eagle huntress, who was very much the star of the festival. She put a smile on her face and was a total trooper, but it seemed like by the end of the festival, she had enough of the spotlight. We also brought a tripod for some of the more difficult action shots, where the horses were running or the eagles were flying. After the festival. The festival was indeed incredible, and if you can handle the crowds, I certainly recommend it. My favorite part was staying with an eagle hunter and his family after the festival. We were able to get a very real glimpse into the lives of the family. The eagle hunter showed us how they have trained and hunted with these amazing birds for thousands of years. Truly one of the highlights of our trip. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel videos from around the world. You can learn more about our work by following the links in the description and of course you're welcome to leave comments and questions below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you the next time Adventure Calls.